Tomorrow night, Governor Evers will present his full proposed budget covering the next two years. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayadpour has reaction from those working to feed Wisconsinites on how the budget addresses agriculture and hunger. Among the items we've seen thus far in Governor Evers' budget proposal is a $43 million agriculture package. Its key programs include an initiative for finding new markets to export Wisconsin products, a $20 million program connecting food pantries with Wisconsin farmers, expanding the state's meat processing capacity, and improving access to mental health services. I'm glad to see that the governor is supportive of it also. I think most legislators are too, so I suspect that will... Um, Hopefully that'll make it through and be in the final version of the budget. The food bank money would let pantries use state dollars to buy food directly from Wisconsin producers. The director of Feeding Wisconsin says demand at food banks is up between 50 and 80 percent across the state. That need hasn't gone away. Our network continues to need more food um, to meet that demand. So $20 million could go a long way. As for meat programs, the State Farm Bureau says small processors have been vital to keeping up production during the pandemic. Wisconsin fared better than some of the states around us because we do have um, a number of, quite a number of small processors and some of them really stepped up and started uh, working 24-7. The proposal also expands an existing program providing mental health care access to farmers. Mental health is health care. Um, and we should treat it as such. So um, I think a wise person would financially invest in a lot of these things. And Debbie Towns from the Farm Bureau Federation says a couple of other items she wants to see get significant funding in the upcoming two-year budget cycle are rural broadband, which she says would help small rural ag businesses. She'd also like to see an emphasis on road funding, which is often a major debate during budget season in Wisconsin.